With the deck all framed, Spencer begins building the concrete pad and the stringers. It'll be nice having these steps all complete, making it easier for us to access our home from this side. It definitely beats hopping in and out of the living room doorway all of the time. So Bear, Bo, and I were just out going for a walk and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these terrifying storm clouds roll in and it gets super windy. And being out in the middle of the woods, surrounded by trees, with trees over top of you, and it being that windy, it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I've never been out there with it like that before. I literally thought a tree was going to fall at any second. <laughs> I was hustling back here, which is very difficult when you're wearing a baby. So Spencer just got back from the store with all the materials for building the railing out there on the deck, but it's still raining and it's really wet out there. So he's not able to get that going right now. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch our focus, come back inside, because we have tons of projects that we need to do in here still too. He's going to work on fixing the electrical because ever since we changed the floor plan, now some things need to be changed. Since this room is now a bedroom, this light needs to go away and we need to have a fan there. So we need to do that. Then we need to add a switch box over here on this wall. And the switch box over here needs to be changed because now everything's different <laughs> since we added this living room on. And obviously we still have the electrical out in this room, but we're not gonna start on that until we have our windows installed which won't be here for a little bit, you know, because we don't want all our electrical exposed to the rain. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. What's up, Mike? What's up? The next day the sun came back out and the wood was able to completely dry, so we headed back outside to continue working on the deck. It's pretty normal for us to have a few projects going on at one time like this, but the second the unpredictable weather takes a turn in our favor, we need to head back outside and get things done, because you never know when you're going to get hit with another straight week of rain.
The stringers for the steps are now all done, so we're going to start building the handrail for back here. It's gonna go along this whole side and then on both sides of the steps. But something that I wanted to address real quickly is the size of the deck, why we've made it this size. And as you guys know, the original plan was to have it go from this point all the way to that end of the house, but we decided to make that into an actual enclosed portion of the house into the living room, so that's why it's this size now. And we didn't want it to extend this way because then it would just be right in front of that window and yeah, so that's why we've done that. But the deck is roughly 100 square feet, which if you didn't know, we live in a 72 square foot cargo trailer while we are building our home. So yeah, 100 square feet for a deck seems plenty big enough to us. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over like sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. All day long, right or wrong, you question everything. Why the grass is green? Can I stay up late? And why do bluebirds sing? Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes for no discernible reason. Your point of view, it comes and goes like changing up. Let go, CP. You got your mama's Oh, good girl. Okay. Ah! You're like a piece of heaven. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven. Now that we have all the posts done, we're ready to start installing the decking. Yeah, and as far as the decking goes, I think I want to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to start with the stairs and then work my way backwards. Uh, opposed to that front deck, I just decked it and then did the stairs last. Yeah. But we'll see how this goes. I, I do have the additional factor of the um, handrail, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we should get it done. Yeah, but this time it's not as difficult. I mean, the handrail is another challenge, but the steps don't actually wrap around like the front ones do, so <laughs> it'll definitely be easier. part of it. That's the end of Bear's Adventure. <laughs> should have known better. I was, I don't know what I was thinking. I could put a screw here to match this screw over here. And obviously when I screwed it in, it completely broke it. So now I have the option of either leaving it, which I'm not going to, or replace this entire board.
Now that he has the whole picture frame fixed, he's going to start building the steps, which I'm super excited about. But before he starts doing that, I just had to say that today is a very special day because it's Spencer's birthday. Yay. <laughs> First birthday as a dad. Does that make you feel old? Yeah, it does. Makes me feel old. Steps are officially done. They look really good. Appreciate it. It's really weird being able to just walk up there like that. I mean, granted, there's no platform done, <laughs> like actual deck yet, but we have steps leading to nowhere, and it's yeah. really nice. The platform's next video. <laughs> no. Now he's gonna start building the rest of the platform, and yeah, I just can't wait till we can get some chairs up there and, you know, maybe sip a little whiskey. <laughs> but it's really muggy today. I feel like we're back in Florida, like in a swamp. Okay? We're sweating bullets right now. It's okay, it's just helping us detox all that birthday cake we had last night. <laughs> It's really driving me nuts how you keep using that purple pen to mark this cedar. I like the visibility. And I, I like using ballpoint pens. <laughs> Hope you don't make a mark somewhere that you don't mean to. Oh, well, if you look around close enough, you can find one spot. Spencer, there better not be any purple pen on here. Are you serious? You know what? I'm going to find it, and it's going to drive me nuts for the rest of my life. I bet you won't find it. I'm gonna get you a nice pencil. No. Pencil, I don't like how I have to sharpen it constantly. <laughs> now wait, is it on a step or is it up there? I can't tell you where it is. Well, no, this is kind of important because if it's on a step, we're screwed. No, if it's up there, maybe we can just strategically have a rug place or a piece of furniture. <laughs> Because you put something on top of it, didn't you? No. Yes, you're so smart. But I'm smarter. Are you though? I am. Baby, where is it? It's right under your nose. Like, why why can't you use a black pen? Uh, because the black pen is out of ink. <laughs> There's no mark, is there? There is. There's no mark. You're just messing with me. No, I'm not. I swear there's a mark. You think you're so funny. I swear there's a mark. <laughs> oh, up here on this post? Where? You! You made me think it was actually on the deck. I you never, said the decking. I never... I... That part of the decking. <sighs> Baby, that is so bad. It's like a Nike check. We need to get you some invisible <laughs> We will now start marking our deck in urine. <laughs> yeah, so if you ever come to our house... Don't bring a black light. <laughs> was just walking out to go to the shower and walked right up on this bad boy. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Man, I can't wait till our shower is inside the house.
Okay, so before I finish this deck, it's actually coming along really nicely. Before I get too far along with it, uh, I need to remove this outlet box that we originally put out here. Since there's no longer going to be a, a light there, it'd be too awkward since it's so close to the wall. So all I'm going to do for that is just take some of these scrap shipping tanner cutouts that I have and just weld it in a patch. And the reason why I'm doing that now is just because when we did the first uh, deck, when I welded in the supports for the living roof, the, the welding kind of like throws slag everywhere and left a couple spots on that front deck. So I wanna not do that this time. But yeah, I just cannot wait for this uh, back deck to be finished so we can have some chairs and actually enjoy it. Hopefully the snakes don't mind us cutting up their home. Looks like we're about to have our first storm with the new deck. So all our deck boards are all done. We still have to build the handrails and stain it, but obviously we can't do that while the weather's been off and on. I gotta say, with the this, this deck, I was a little skeptical at first with the sizing of it and when we were designing the, the addition, but honestly, I really gotta say, I really like it. It helps tie this whole house together, so. Very happy with how it came out. Now I'm just interested to see how the handrail and stand looks on here. <laughs> 